Ozark from National Shrink Wrap, and today we're going to discuss wrapping bath bombs, which has been a very popular issue or question that a lot of our customers have had lately on what's the best way to wrap your bath bombs. These come to us, these come to us courtesy of Donna from Chamomile Cottage right here in Haddonfield, New Jersey. They're two and a half inch bath bombs. Now, I've taken the liberty of arranging a dozen of these in place already, but the truth is, although this looks more impressive, I'm really pref I really prefer to do one sleeve at a time, but we'll go into that in a minute. With soap, when we make a seal, we always want to make a seal where the two layers of film meet on their own without us squeezing them together, which would be about here, which is why the columns are so far apart in terms of width. But because they roll, I'm going to go right now, and you can see the bath bombs are rolling towards the wand. I'm going to have them roll, and I'll make the seams right next to the edge of the bomb. Now, I don't mind that they're gathering like this because I'm actually going to want them to do that. So we're just going to scoot these over, come in close to the base, seal off another batch, do the same thing here, and then do the same thing here. Now, you didn't see me loading them, but really what you can just do is take three bath bombs, throw them in there, and cut off the sleeve. I mean, it's not really a, a very time-consuming job, so we might as well do these and finish them off. I'm just going to take them in all the way gathered together, like this. And now I'm going to seal, all right, well, here's a good reason. I'm going to seal across the open end of each one of these sleeves. So now these are all in... This is 18 inch film and it's 60 gauge polyolefin. Polyolefin will allow the scent of the bombs to come through the film, but it's a thin film. So what happens is that the seams that are on your bath bombs will be much less evident than if you were using a thicker film, especially with one and a half inch bombs where there's not a lot of real estate. If you have big thick seams like from 75 gauge poly, they're gonna be very evident, very noticeable. So what I'm gonna do is let gravity bring one of the bath bombs down to the bottom and then I'm going to come in here, if you can shoot here, I'm going to come in so I can get as close, because this will roll, I'm going to come in as close as I can to the bath bomb and make my seam. I'll roll the next one down, do the same thing here, let this one come down, do the same thing here. So now we're not using a lot of film on our bombs, which will make them look cleaner in appearance when the customer picks them up. And then here we'll take this and seal that off. We don't need to be redundant. I'm going to take my heat gun. As, as is usually the case with soaps and most products, we're going to shrink the seams first. By, thicken, sink, by shrinking the seams first, they thicken and strengthen. Going to go like this now. There's very little of the dog ears popping up while you're shrinking it. Just make sure to squeeze it down and you'll minimize the amount just like that. So it doesn't take a long time to shrink them at all, especially with 60 gauge. They're protected from moisture and the seams do not overwhelm the product. If you can if you can get a close shot there, you'll see that the seams are really barely visible. So here, let's do this one close up. Just give it a squeeze. And there it's nice, neat, protected, and ready to go. Thank you.